I'm Jonathan Fry. I'm the director of the Makerspaces at William and Mary. We use 3D printing uh, in various curriculums as well as extracurricularly in uh, professors' research and in um, uh, the facilities. There's always been 3D printing. Um, in the past few years, we've accelerated that trend uh, dramatically. All students that come through William & Mary have access to 3D printers, 3D printing, and 3D design. We acquired the Evos uh, two years ago um, and added them to our, our campus fleet of 3D printers. We use Evos generally when we need sizable functional engineering prints. Depending on the 3D printers that you use, their hardware dictates reliability and reliability is of utmost concern when you're trying to keep machines running for a large student body. Uh, one of the big efforts we have using uh, 3D printing around here is uh, to develop an autonomous swarm robotics platform that is uh, surface vessels, so specifically boats, autonomous robotic boats. Um, we've been using these 3D printers to uh, print up to a two foot long uh, autonomous boat platform using uh, a Voith Schneider propulsion system um, that uh, is used for, for research, for experience, for students, for uh, a number of different avenues. There is a um, open source, low cost 3D printer for liquids and biological materials uh, that we've come up with and uh, we use the Evos to print the, the parts for that. Recently 3D printed a whiteboard robot that draws on the whiteboards. There's hundreds of 3D prints that go on every month here. In class we do um, an engineering assignment where everyone has to print a functional water pump. Um, and so all of those designs are printed using these machines. They have to, they have to print an actual useful working thing uh, and then test it out and see if it works. So the engineering physics and applied design track of the physics program at William & Mary has a senior capstone research requirement. That's a year-long research endeavor where as a team the students focus on um, a research topic that they're going to work with a uh, faculty advisor. So this past year we had a capstone group that studied advanced additive manufacturing, uh, specifically working with me on designing a 3D printer capable of printing while applying up to a 50,000 volt electric potential to the extruded plastic. The goal of this research is that we can build a 3D printer that can produce what's called piezoelectric active piezoelectric material um, where that's plastic that when you bend it or twist it it generates electricity or conversely you can put electricity into it and make it move right? plastic that moves so we, we located our largest bank of 3d printers uh, at the, the library the most 3D printers should be accessible by the greatest number of people. The library is already home to uh, the William & Mary community at large. Um, and since we want every student, faculty, and staff to be able to uh, use, understand, and uh, design for 3D printers, um, we want to make sure that there is uh, a large presence of, of printing capabilities there at the library. One of the most important experiences uh, and learnings that a future engineer can have is by getting hands-on. 3D printing allows you to get hands-on with something.